have a really crazy imagination and I felt um, that people didn't always understand what I was thinking. And so art became a way where my imagination um, wasn't weird and I wasn't strange. And it was um, a way of me sharing the things that I was thinking about or envisioning um, in a way that other people could understand it and even enjoy it too. When I was younger, I was very reserved and you know very introverted. So I use art to more of like as like my therapy or just to like get my feelings out there just because art helped me, you know, voice out how I felt. When I was nine years old, close to 10, there was a nine year old in my school who was pregnant. And then there was a lot of people who were doing drugs in front of me, needling and hiding in like the trash cans, and women cleaning their teeth with razor blades. You know, and, and I also saw my first homicide at the age of 13, right, on, right outside my window. Now, those are residual energy of sadness within oneself, anger, uh, poverty, and starvation. So all those are like pools that you gotta figure out how to move yourself around. And um, Harlem School of the Arts was something like a safe haven because when I went there, I couldn't dialogue those things. The only way to dialogue is through art. And I didn't know art was therapeutic until years later. So all these obstacles were, I found them to call challenges. I figured out a way to, to utilize what I heard from church and manifest goodness among myself because nobody's gonna give it to me by, besides myself. Being creative is like not, not scared to like make mistakes or, or not like, not try to like figure out what's gonna come next all the time. Um, it's pretty much like, I guess, trusting yourself and trusting your instincts. Cool Culture is an organization that is about collaboration. Cool Culture is an organization that's about movement building. And so what we're doing with our event that we're having December 1st, our Give to Get Giving Tuesday event, is we are trying to reach these future sort of social activists and philanthropists, you millennials out there, um, to give and to pay it forward. Like you're an artist and we want to encourage arts. And know that as a you know as a millennial, it doesn't you don't have to be like a millionaire or a thousandaire or whatever to give. Um, it's twenty-five dollars, fifty dollars, ten dollars, fifteen dollars, it all makes a big difference.